the rural stuff. So I'm in my new shed, which is nearly finished. So I'm quite excited about getting them done so I can uh, make some use of it. And my plan is to have a bit of an indoor shooting range, as well as it being a store shed. So I'm gonna allocate a bit of a passage down the side for way indoor air pistol shooting. So it's 45 feet or 13.71 meters or 15 yards. So 10 meters is uh, an ideal sort of standard air pistol range. So our target set up down that way. Um, I haven't actually got any materials left to, to make anything at the moment, so uh, I did have a bit of an idea of uh, something else I could use. And I've already got a nice comfy chair to sit on in here. I've magpied this from up the road, someone was just chucking it out, don't know why, nothing wrong with it. So that's what I'm thinking of as a pellet catcher, target holder. Can't even see it at the moment. So I've got this old box trailer here, which has buried itself in the bracken. I think that might work well as a bit of a pellet catcher. So I've been using this to hold targets and things in as a sort of little store box. So I'll drag this out, I think, make use of it. So that's my shed. It's not 100% complete yet. Uh, if you're into sheds like I am, I like a good shed. I'm making a video for my other channel, more rural stuff. So. By the time this video is done, it may or may not be on my other channel, but check that out if you want, if you're into sheds. heavy to move because it still had stuff in. I didn't know. That'll do as a first target in here. I've got some soft backing in the back of the trailer just to reduce ricochets. I'll try this setup for now. I might just change it eventually and have some sort of uh, board on the back wall, but for now I'll use this. Mm -hmm. 